to my channel. It's your girl Yanni, and today we are doing day three of our 10 days of Christmas makeup looks. So right now, I know you can see my little one behind me, but we are going to recreate this look that I found on Pinterest. Hopefully I can get it done. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I get this makeup look done, then go ahead and grab a snack. Grab a bottle of water because you know we're still trying to get healthy up in this joint and just keep watching. Alright, let's jump right in. I'm going in with my NYX Born to Glow Concealer. This time I didn't use a setting powder. I decided to use a concealer. You see me cleaning up my brows. And I know that you see my kids jumping around in the background, but <laughs> that's my kids. So I'm over here having a conversation with my 22-year-old about his baby. And... I'm gonna go ahead and use the Spiced Apple Quad from e.l.f., the Bite Size Quad. And I'm putting the brown color in my crease and I'm really, really building it up because we're gonna do a cut crease. Then I went ahead and went into the Cream and Sugar Palette and I'm using that deeper chocolatey brown. I'm taking a more precise brush, this is a Morphe brush, and I'm taking that really, really into my crease, like really, really creating that cut crease. You see me stamping it here and then I start to blend it out because I don't want it to be too, too harsh. And I'm winging it out. As you can see, I have my e.l.f. eyeshadow tapes, which are a lifesaver when you're doing like winged shadow, cutting creases, all that kind of stuff. I love these things and they're like two or three dollars and they come with like, I don't know how many sheets. And now I'm blending it out and just building that chocolatey brown, just making sure that it's all blended. Now we're gonna cut our crease. I'm using the Peelie's eyeshadow base in Rumor 02. You guys know it's my favorite base. And what I do is I put a little bit on my eye and then I look up and it tells me exactly where I need to cut my crease because I do have hooded eyes. So that's what you see me doing here. And I'm patting it out. I'm using my Alamar Cosmetics flat shader brush. This is like my favorite brush to use for cut creases. It's super, super fine and precise. That's what she's me doing. And this takes time. I mean, I'm not perfect at it. <laughs> I think there's room for improvement for me. I just, this, this is just something I don't do all the time. I'm gonna take that champagne -y color from the Cream and Sugar palette and I'm putting that all over the lid, everywhere that we put that eyeshadow base. I'm being very, very precise, making sure that I get all the way to the corners. So that's what you see me doing here. This is such a pretty, like champagne-y gold color. I love it. It's very, very pretty. Now I'm gonna take the NYX Matte Liquid Liner and we are going to create a graphic liner, basically. So I'm gonna do a thin winged liner and then we are going to go ahead and create that graphic part because we are gonna do the Christmas lights. This takes a little bit of time. I mean, I'm not good at wing liner like that, but this is as good as it's gonna get. Then I decided to go in with my Lash Princess Mascara from Essence. This is one of my favorite mascaras of lately. I'm a drugstore girl when it comes to mascara. I'm not gonna spend like $30 on a damn mascara when I can go to the drugstore and get something even better for cheaper. So that's what you see me doing here. I'm putting a couple coats. Then I took the Kylie Cosmetics 2-in-1 Eye and Lip Liner and I am tight lining my lash line because we are going to go in with false lashes. So that's what you see me doing here. I love this liner. It is pretty creamy. So slowly but surely, I took that matte liquid liner and as you can see here, I'm going really, really slow and super precise. I am creating, like outlining that cut crease because that's what we're gonna use to be our Christmas lights. So slowly, this is what I'm doing. And slow is better. Do not rush your graphic liner if you're not like a professional. Like I'm an amateur and I am like so, so careful. Then I went ahead and went in with my colored liners from ColourPop. So these are the graphic liners, the BFF liquid liners from ColourPop. I used 
the red one which is try me I used the green one which is the hills I used the blue one which is crazy and then I used the yellow one which is make love so that's what you see me doing here and then I took the white liquid liner which is the color Graceland and I used that as the little um, accent white and then I used the numero uno liquid liner and I created those little black um, lines that connected to the liner so it looks like Christmas lights and that's what you see there now we're gonna go in with our house of lashes iconic light lashes these have slowly but surely become like one of my favorite lashes I just love the way these look um, on my eye shape I'm using the duo lash glue and you guys know that I already put the lash glue on my lash line versus on my lashes and then I'm just using my Tarte lash tool to press my lashes and the false lashes together now going back into that spiced apple bite-sized quad I'm using the chocolatey brown color to smoke out my lower lash line then I went in with the cream and sugar palette and I used the dark chocolate on the outer portion of my lower lashes going in with my white cream gel liner from ColourPop this is the exit cream gel liner I'm just putting that in my waterline so my eyes look brighter then to do my brow bone highlight and my inner corner highlight I used this highlight from Catrice it's a 3d highlight it's called pinch of rose and I did spray my brush and this is the final look do you like it do you love it do you want to wear it it was so much fun recreating this beautiful eye look that I saw on Pinterest. It took a lot of time, but it's super fun just to sit down and do your makeup. And I think it came out pretty good, if I do say so myself. So, yes. Thank you so much for watching, of course. Please like, share, comment down below anything that you'd like to see, what products you use, what products you don't use. If you like Christmas looks, if you don't like Christmas looks, please let me know. And yes, thanks again for all the love and the support. Please, again, subscribe. And I will see all you beauties in my next video. Have a happy holiday.